What's up, people? Chris, going to get my uh, post-fight thoughts on last night's Timothy Bradley Manny Pacquiao fight. Um, I, I pretty much, I think, like a, a majority of people out there, at least it seems like from the feedback I was reading on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, believe that Manny Pacquiao won the fight. I believe he deserved the decision. Um, I'll say this first off. You know, HBO commentary, it's bias. Most notably, Jim Lampley. I've said time and again I don't like the guy. Um, his commentary is biased. He's had favorites in the past, including Oscar De La Hoya, Roy Jones, Jermaine Taylor, and Manny Pacquiao. Um, and it seemed to me last night, more than anything with his commentary, you know, Freddie Roach said that Manny Pacquiao wouldn't lose around Timothy Bradley. And it came across to me like Jim Lampley was trying to validate that. He would say, um, you could possibly give Timothy Bradley that round, but I think Manny took it at the end. He pulled that same bullshit with uh, the last Marquez Pacquiao fight. He'd be like, oh, Manny stole that round at the end. You know, before... who are you to say who stole what round? Um, he should just be there to commentate, not try to be the judge. And after the fight, he also said, um, telling, uh, I believe, Merchant or Stewart that, or Kellerman, I should say, that he doesn't influence Harold Letterman. Yeah, right. Harold Letterman's sitting there right next to him. <laughs> you can't tell me he's not influenced by Jim Lampley's commentary? Bitch, please. Anyways, um... But as for the fight itself, aside from the numbers, which showed that Manny Pacquiao landed more punches, even if Timothy Bradley appeared to have landed more, or done more throughout, Manny Pacquiao indeed landed more punches. And it goes without saying that he obviously landed the more effective punches. I mean, his shots were doing more damage. It was pretty evident. Plus, Bradley, from what was it, the fourth round on, wasn't able to offer as much till later in the fight because of his foot, I guess. Um, there was a noticeable difference in Bradley's effort from round four to, I'd say, the latter rounds. He definitely didn't look like he had the same pop in his punches and wasn't as, as comfortable. Um, but yeah, Pacquiao was definitely successful, of course, all night with that left hand. I gotta give it this, say this though. I know a lot of people come down to Timothy Bradley for the decision, which obviously, say what you will about it, Timothy Bradley has no say on how the fight scored. He has no sway. He went in there, prepared, fought to the best of his ability, and made a good fight of it. I thought for a minute there, after the fourth round, he might go in Shane Mosley retreat mode, but he didn't. He hung in there the entire fight, and he was willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe pretty often, which obviously was not to his benefit. Um, it was obvious early on he couldn't hurt Manny, and Manny was staying in quite a few times. So, full credit to that. Not only that, Bradley showed a good chin. I thought uh, he might get knocked down if he got hit. Saw by Pacquiao or definitely enough times. But he didn't. He hung in there. He never got knocked down. He got hurt a few times. But he never was on the verge of getting stopped at any point in the fight. So, credit to Tim Bradley for all those things. That said, I just thought Manny did enough to win the fight. I thought he won more rounds um, for the reasons I already mentioned. And I didn't think it was that close of a fight. I thought it was closer than what I anticipated. But I would say eight rounds to four. 116-112 Manny I didn't score the fight round by round. Just because I usually don't score fights round by round when I watch them. I just go by the overall picture of what I'm watching and what I see happening and taking place. And at the end of the night, who do I think won the fight? And at the end of the fight, I thought Manny Pacquiao did more than enough to win the fight. I didn't think it was close. I was surprised... When uh, the first scorecard was announced, 115-113 for Pacquiao. Right then and there, I'm like, wait a minute. If he said for Pacquiao, that means automatically it's a split decision. Because he didn't say unanimous. He didn't say, like, all scorecards, read, blah, 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 whatever they'd say. So I knew it was a split decision, which I was like, whoa, hold up a second. And then when the last card was announced for Timothy Bradley, I could not believe it. I honestly was... I, I don't know if I would say shocked, but probably. Definitely surprised. 
I mean, before the fight, um, I didn't see the entire card. I, I was out at a barbecue, family barbecue, or family party. Uh, but with the delay that Pacquiao was doing because of the game and stretching his calves, I was like, I was on Twitter, you know, like a lot of people. Uh, I tweeted out, you know, I just said, I actually hope Manny Pacquiao loses this fight just because of this bullshit he's pulling delay in the fight, you know? And they were, you know, stalling for time, and they had Harold Letterman breaking down the judges, saying who they are, Jim Lance is asking about them. And I also wrote on uh, Twitter, I said, I wish Harold Letterman would quit bullshitting and just say, this judge is most likely to rob Timothy Bradley. Because there was the judge, I, um, I forgot her name, I believe it was a female. He said, well, this judge is a little suspect, and this judge had an off night in the Rios versus um, a Brill fight. An off night. Yes, he just had an off night. He didn't happen to just go for the top rank fighter or the, the house fighter, um, the Aram fighter, Brandon Rios. And he had an off night. He accidentally scored eight rounds to four for Rios over a Brill. Just a bad night. He wasn't feeling well. I'm like, come on, man. Just keep it real. So I was just like, you know, which judge is most likely to screw over Bradley? Little did I know it would be the other way around. Um, so the question is, and I watched a ton of YouTube videos. I, I watched stuff. It seemed like the majority of people thought Pacquiao got screwed. Not just, I don't talk to Pacquiao fans really. Nothing against Pacquiao fans. I just don't really know a lot of Pacquiao fans. A lot of the people that I talk to in regard to boxing are boxing fans. So they're not Bradley fans. They're not Pacquiao fans. They're just boxing fans in general of the sport like myself. No favorites. I didn't have a favorite. I don't care who won this fight. I just won. You know, the right guy to win. I don't really care. Um, watched a lot of YouTube videos. A lot of guys posted videos last night. A lot of guys who I'm subscribed to. You even had guys like Outside the Ropes, Blood Boxing, guys at um, Naptown Board. These guys aren't fans of Manny Pacquiao. They don't like Manny Pacquiao. And even they thought, on first viewing, that Manny Pacquiao won the fight. You know, he got robbed. You know, they had their own reasons for whether or not they agree with the decision um, or why they disagree with it, why they thought the decision came out the way it was. And that's the big question. Why would Top Rank or Bob Arum, if obviously if the decision was fixed, the judges were paid, whatever whatever the situation is, why would it be to screw over Manny Pacquiao? You know, especially after the Marquez fight. You know, obviously a lot of people, myself included, thought Marquez deserved to win the last fight against Pacquiao. So why would you screw him now uh, for Timothy Bradley? Of course, there's the theory that there's this rematch already set in place for November. I mean, that's pretty. It's a pretty good theory. Um, there's theories about Manny Pacquiao's almost done with his contract. He might want to go fight Mayweather without uh, with Bob Arum. Um, there's people saying Manny Pacquiao got a bit too big for his britches. Arum had to put him in check. There's people saying Manny Pacquiao now that he's found God, you know, this newfound religion thing, he might not want to box anymore. So Bob Arum has to hitch his wagon to Timothy Bradley. There's a lot of different scenarios out there. We don't know that which one's the actual truth, if there is one. If there was actual... Um, it comes down to this with the judges, at least in my opinion. I believe Teddy Atlas said it on ESPN last night. And it's been said time and again. It's either corruption or incompetence. It's not incompetence. You're these judges. You've been boxing fights this many years. You're not that dumb. And you're not that smart to be like, oh, I saw it. And you don't know. Yeah, you're right. And everybody else is wrong. No, you're wrong. You got paid. You're not wrong. You just had a reason for the, re the, why, the reason why you scored. And that's why you're still judging these fights regardless of histories of bad decisions. Um, so, yeah, um, on Science of Violence, my, my partner that works on the website with me, he wrote an interesting piece on there as to why top rank benefits from Timothy Bradley winning the decision. He made a pretty compelling case. It's not a very long article. It's only like a paragraph or two at most. So you can go check that out. I'll put the link in the information right away as always. You can check out what his theory is. It's it's pretty I read it and I'm like, that makes a lot of freaking sense, you know, it really did. Um basically saying, you know, the rematch is gonna make more money. It benefits Bob Aram. Bob Aram is the one person that benefits from this decision because guess what? They're doing a rematch in November. It doesn't matter who wins or loses. 
there's probably going to be more people that order. People said they're not going to order. Yeah, right. More people are going to order because they're going to want to see Man Pacquiao win or get justice, whatever. Um, are they going to see, hey, maybe Timothy Bradley did beat him. Maybe he'll beat him again. The rematch will do a bigger buy, in my opinion. And it's going to benefit Bob Barron the most because he stands to make the most money because he promotes both fighters. So, you know, Bob Barron, no matter who wins or loses, he wins overall. And, of course, there's, you know, hey, there's people out there saying, you know, this is what Manny Pacquiao gets. The Marquez fights. Marquez got screwed over. Ha ha. You know, that's what he gets. You know, there's that whole two wrongs don't make a right. I don't really care about all that. Although it's true. I thought Marquez got screwed at least in the last fight. I, thought I actually thought he won a couple of those fights, but whatever. It is what it is. But much like with Tim Bradley, Manny Pacquiao doesn't have anything to say in the decision. He didn't. If, they, if he gets an unjust decision or a decision that people think he lost, it's not because he paid off the judges or he had anything to do with the decision. That's his promoter. Um, so that's Bob Aaron once again. So that's why I don't hold it against Manny Pacquiao. That's not like, oh, it's karma or anything like that. No, it's not. It's not karma. And it's not Manny Pacquiao getting what, what comes to him because he has nothing to do with these close or controversial decisions that he got against uh, Juan Manuel Marquez. It's all benefiting Bob Aaron in the end. No matter what happens, as long as he's a promoter of these fights. Um, one last thing. I'll say this. There's people saying Manny Pacquiao's stupid. Bob Arum takes advantage of him, blah, blah, blah. I don't think Manny Pacquiao's stupid. I just think Manny Pacquiao's a bit naive. I think Aaron's been able to take advantage of him. I think it's also evident in the fact that Manny Pacquiao has this huge amount of people around him. What is he on last age 24-7? Several dozen people in his room. Manny Pacquiao is too generous at times for his own good. And Bob Arum, I think, knows how to take advantage of it. As well as a lot of other people, I think, that are freeloaders, moochers, hangers-on, whatever. That have, you know, found ways to exploit Manny and take advantage. That Kant's guy. Perfect example. Come on, who is this guy? He has no history in boxing. He has no background. That guy's a joke. You know, um, I just think Manny Pacquiao is naive. And I think that Bob, there's a reason why Manny Pacquiao doesn't make as much money for his fights as Floyd Mayweather does. Floyd Mayweather is obviously a much better businessman. Does that mean he's smarter than Manny Pacquiao? No. It just means he has a better sense of business and of the finances. Manny Pacquiao should have the same amount of money that Floyd Mayweather does, considering the numbers they do in attendance. But he doesn't. And there's a reason for that. So whether or not you think Manny Pacquiao or Mayweather is a better fighter, there's no denying or doubt over who's the better businessman, that's for sure. It's Floyd Mayweather. And I'm not a fan of Floyd Mayweather. Anyhow, that's my thoughts on that. I thought Manny Pacquiao won the fight. I thought he won convincingly, like I said, about 160-112. I don't even think it's seven rounds to five, which would have been a closer fight. Um, but, like I said, credit to Bradley for... Going in there and doing his job, fighting at the end, and actually probably winning a few of those last few rounds. But I still didn't think it was nearly enough to win the fight. Anyways, I'm sure you guys have already written elsewhere, other videos said elsewhere, voiced your opinion on what you thought about the fight. But if you haven't, or if you wanted to say any more, I just want to hear what your scorecards were for the fight. Did you think it was close? Did you think Bradley won? If so, why? I definitely would like to hear that. I mean, I'm not against hearing case for Bradley. Um... Who do you think stands to gain from Manny Pacquiao getting screwed if you do think he got screwed over? Are you interested in a rematch? How do you think the rematch goes? Do you think Manny Pacquiao wins more definitively? Do you think Timothy Bradley could possibly win a rematch? Um, just any thoughts in general, I guess, just like I did. I mean, this video is way longer than my usual ones, especially for a post-fight vid, but there's a lot to say about this fight. So anyways, um, links for scienceofvines.com. Like I said, if you want to read my, my my friend's article um, on why it benefits top rank of Bob Aaron for this fight to go the way it did. The decision, I should say, um, as well as links to Science of Science on Facebook and my Twitter. So that's it for now. Um, Till next time. But yeah, either way, bottom line, bad for the sport of boxing? Yes and no. You know what they say, uh, all press is good press or whatever. I don't know, even bad news, good news. I don't know, whatever. If nothing else, they had a lot of people talking. Like I said on Twitter, this is the most active I've seen Twitter since Osama bin Laden was killed. So 
That's it for now. I'm out.